finding common cosine and sine. And in this problem, we are going to find the result in relation to the 45, 45, 90 triangle or the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's start with finding the cosine of 135 degrees. Step one, graph it. So we're going to graph it. And to graph, you start um, at this end right here, and then you go up, since it's positive, 135 degrees, past the 90 degree mark, and that'll get you a line that looks something like this. And that's 135 degrees. Step two, identify the type of special triangle. So we're going to use this line to draw a triangle. And I'm going to draw a line from here to here to create a triangle. And in this case, it's going to create a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Since 135 plus 45 degrees, uh, that's going to get you 180. So therefore, this is a 45 degrees. And then if you make a vertical line straight up, it'll be 90 degrees. Therefore, this has to be 45 degrees. So you have a 45, 45, 90. Step three, you can use the ratio from the special triangle to determine the result. So from this line, and since it makes a 45, 45, 90 triangle, we'll set up the ratio. And um, so in a 45, 45, 90, the, both the legs are x and x. Now since this leg is from 0 and it goes to the left, it'll be negative x. And then the hypotenuse is uh, x root 2. Then we can find the cosine of 135 degrees. So given this line here, cosine of 135 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent, and we're going to look at this angle here. Adjacent is negative x. Hypotenuse is x over root 2. Then we simplify. x over x, they cancel out. That leaves us negative 1 over root 2. And in math, we can't have a root at the denominator as a result. So we're going to multiply both the denominator and numerator by root 2. Root 2 times root 2 gets you 2. Then root 2 times 1 is just root 2. And then the negative carries over. So our resulting answer is negative root 2 over 2. And this completes our problem. Let's try another problem now with sine. So find sine of negative 150. And now I'm going to start with graphing it. So when I graph negative 150, I start right here. And since it's negative, I go down and then over. So this is past the 90 degrees. And then I go over a little, a little bit for to get negative 150 degrees. Step two, identify the type of special triangle. So I'm going to make a triangle out of this. So the remaining degrees here is 30 uh, to make 180. So if this is 30, this is 90, this has to be 60. So I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Step three, use the ratio from the special triangle to determine the result. Since this is a 30, 60, 90, my ratio becomes uh, 2x for the hypotenuse, then negative x for the side opposite of 30 degrees. Now, this is negative x since I'm going down here. And then negative x root 3 for the side opposite of 60 degrees. And it's negative since I'm going from um, this point to the left. So when I'm going to the left, it's negative, And when I go down, it's also negative as well, too. So now, with this triangle, I can use my ratio to find sine of negative 150 degrees. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite, now I'm going to look at it from this angle. Opposite is negative x. And then hypotenuse is 2x. The x will cancel out, and that will leave you with negative 1 over 2. And this completes our problem.